people. Let's do what we said we would do. For seven years, we've campaigned on repealing Obamacare. We got the chance to do it. The House has passed a repeal bill. It's in the Senate. The president is ready to sign it. And, and it's up to the Senate Republicans. We're either going to step up to the bar and keep our word, or, or we're going to look the voters in the eye and break our word. I hope it's not the latter. If they do it, Newt Gingrich says... A, a possibility of a Speaker Pelosi exists. I, I think that's very possible. I, the central promise for seven years, if you knew one thing about Republicans, it's that we were going to repeal Obamacare, and we've run over and over and over again. We, we said, give us the House. In 2010, the voters did. Give us the Senate. In 2014, they did. Give us the White House. In 2016, they did. We got to step up and just do it. And and and, and where not... are we now? Because it keeps going back and, and forth between repeal and transition. Yeah. Or the bill that you worked on with yeah. your amendment, right. which right. I like your amendment. Yeah. But I also, I, if that could be part of the transition, fine. I'd be fine with that too. Look, I would happily vote for either. I would vote for complete repeal, a one sentence Obamacare is repealed, period, the end. I'd Done. vote for it happily. I'd be happy. Uh, you know, unfortunately, there are a bunch of Republicans who are scared to vote for that. They won't vote for that. We saw that in the House, though. There were 100 Republicans, yeah. there were nearly 68 votes. You know, show votes. But and it, just like you got in trouble, and I remember yes, supporting yes. you, watching you yep. the night you were filibustering. Yep. If they would have done it then and right. used their constitutional authority, power of the purse, you're exactly right. We wouldn't be here, look, would we? Look, 2013, there was a big fight. We could have stopped it then. But you know what? We got a chance now. There is an agreement to be reached. We've got 52 Republicans. And anyone who's standing up against this, I would just ask you to think, what did you tell the voters the last eight years? How are you going to look them in the eyes and say, you had a chance to repeal Obamacare, but you said no? We need to come together. And, and, and there is a path to yes. We probably got, I'd say, 45, 46 yeses. It's just four or five people that, that, that are holding out. We've got to get there and get this done. And the key to doing it, is focusing on freedom, focusing on lowering premiums, more competition, empower you, the consumer, to be in charge of your health care. That's how we get it done. So